This is Janine with Pool Zones, and we are now moving into uh, chemistry, the, uh, where are we, hardness, number two. So we will look at number two, and number two is hardness, which is based on calcium. We want a range of between 240 to 300. Again, this is all based on a new pool, maybe three to four days old. Uh, keep in mind that the tap water that we had for this pool gave us something below 100. But some of the tap water uh, or even older pools, they can be over 500, which can sometimes become problematic. But here we have low hardness, as I said, below 100. And we need to get that hardness between 240 to 300. But here is a very, very important issue. If, the, if we start to just add this chemical, which is calcium, as I said before, this is Epsom salts. That's what it is. And it's much cheaper than buying Epsom salts if you go to the pool store and buy a bag of uh, calcium flakes. If we were to try to get that number up to, say, 250 to 300, we would have to add maybe 25 pounds. I'm not going to add 25 pounds. 25 pounds is a really big problem about to happen. What I'm adding there is uh, probably four to five pounds. Uh, I'm going to do eight here, I think. I remember I doubled it up. So I went four and four. So I aimed at eight, knowing I needed around 20 to 22. I said, let's go with eight. I want to keep it lower. I may even want to do six sometimes, but I'm doing eight here. I think the pool can take it, 11 and a half thousand gallons. So in other words, what happens is that this process has to be repeated several times so that I can get 20 or 22 uh, pounds of calcium, which is hardness, and build that level up to the 240 to 300 range. What happens with a lot of pool service guys is that they get very panicky about calcium. So they'll leave it out because if it's added too quickly and too much, it will what's, what's called scale or precipitate. And that beautiful blue interior that we see there will start to become like a faded pair of jeans. Now here, I'm not going to pour it into the skimmer. I'm just put, you know, I've got the grain, grains in there or the granular um, units in there and I'm adding water. This becomes really hot. In fact, the first time in adding water, it boils. Yes, it will literally boil right in front of your eyes and it just bubbles. Now here, I'm just going to add it to the pool and I'm adding in the deep end near the drains. So those drains will, um, they're actually suction ports. So they're not really drains. We never drain a pool from that. So I'm just going to pour it in slowly, gradually. It does dissolve very easily and it gets really, really hot. So the best place to put that bucket is in a huge, cool pot, which is the pool. Now, when I came back, I had to do this um, three times. I did the second time around eight. And then when I came back the third time, I did around four. Now, I did it over a period of three days. That is correct. And I made sure every single time before I did this, I made sure that the alkalinity reading was correct, was in range. There we go. That's a victory and a celebration. <laughs> and I've had enough too. <laughs> I've had enough. I've, when I sort of wiggle my fingers like that, I say, yeah, I've had enough right now. Um, there's so much detail to think of in, in chemistry. So what happened with that pool, just so you know, it did take three days and the hardness, I could see when I came back and I tested it, it was, you know, it went up like a hundred parts. And then I knew when I added my final dosage that I was going to be very close to range, the 240 to 300. Here is a key factor about a new pool. With a new pool, here's what happens. At some point, there's an equilibrium. So you get to that number, you know you're there, about 250 or so, you say, great, I've reached it, I'm final, I'm done. No, what's going to happen is over the next week, the water and the plaster are going to work 
each other to balance themselves. So if the plaster doesn't have as much calcium as the water, the calcium is going to be like a, a will like a, a osmosis system will go into the plaster or vice versa. If the water is uh, say it's unbalanced with hardness, which is calcium, then the water will attack, you know, it's an attack mode on the plaster and it'll suck the calcium out of the plaster. And that's where people have very um, rough surfaces, for example. And that's because the pool service guy was worried about calcium and said, let's just wait two or three weeks or four weeks and then we will add it. But logically, that's exactly what you don't want to do, especially when hardness is number two. Very, very important to get that right. So within about three to four days on a new pool, I, I've managed to get the hardness within range between 240 to 300. So that's it for this um, video. We will go into the next video, which will touch upon pH and talk about how to balance the pH.